and welcome to another video. Today we are going to review the all new Skoda Rapid Ambition variant which is priced at 9.99 lakhs X showroom and sits right above the rider variant in Rapid lineup. Recently Skoda gave a facelift to the car and therefore we shall check out what are the improvements made to the car and should you be buying one of them. Starting with the front looks of the car, there has not been a significant change when compared to the outgoing model and therefore it gets this butterfly grille which is surrounded by chrome garnishing to enhance the looks of the car. The vehicle even gets daytime running lights, projector headlamps and fog lamps which are missing on the base rider variant. Speaking about the side profile, the vehicle has not undergone a significant change in terms of design. You get these 15 inch alloy wheels which have a simplistic design but look elegant on the car. Apart from that, we have a straight line that starts from the front fender and goes on to connect the boot lid. Speaking about the rare design of the car now, we get the C-shaped tail lamps that have been continued from the previous generation model. Overall, the exterior design of the car has largely remained unchanged and we must say that the car still looks classy and won't make you feel the design is outdated. Now that we saw how the exteriors are, let's check out the interiors as well. For the Ambition variant, you get the 16.51cm touchscreen infotainment system that has features such as Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and Mirror Link technology. You even get steering mounted audio control starting from this Ambition variant. Apart from that, you also get automatic climate control which is standard across all the variants of Skoda Rapid. On the safety front, we get two airbags, anti-lock braking system which is usually termed as ABS and rear parking sensors as standard fitment. The advantage of having ABS is that in case of hard braking, the wheels will not lock up thanks to the ABS unit which holds and releases the brake in order to prevent the car from spinning out of control. Now speaking about the seats, we get the driver seat height adjust option starting from this Ambition variant. Furthermore, you even get tilt and telescopic adjustment for the steering and therefore finding a comfortable driving position will not be an issue. If you are liking this video, a sub would be amazing. Now that you saw the front seats of the car, you might be wondering about the rear seat comfort. So here I am at the rear seat of the all new Skoda Rapid. As you can see here, we have loads of knee room and under thigh support is excellent and even the backrest angle is very good. Even the third passenger can be squeezed in but the only problem is that there is a huge transmission tunnel that eats up the space for the middle passenger. However, if you don't have that third passenger, you can pull down the center armrest and you can enjoy your journey. It's worthy to note that you do not get any cup holders inside the armrest. However, there is a cup holder located right below the AC vent which actually helps you to keep your drinks cold. There is even a 12 volt socket at the bottom of the cup holder that comes in handy when you want to charge your phone. The only difference at the rear when compared to the rider variant is that the AC vents is surrounded by chrome garnishing instead of the glossy black finish on the rider variant. Speaking about the boot space, we get 460 liters of space and even the boot design is excellent. Therefore, you will not face any issues if you want to carry large suitcases for those long distance trips. Now that you saw how the interiors and exteriors of the car are, it's time for us to drive the vehicle and see how it drives on our Indian road condition. As soon as you start off, one thing that you would notice instantaneously is that sudden burst of power that is available right from 1000 rpm. This itself adds to the fun factor and brings a smile on your face whenever you take the car for a spin. Even though this is a 3 cylinder engine, you won't notice too much of vibration until and unless you rev the engine too hard. There is a tiny growl from the engine all the time, but it only adds a bit more to the sportier feel of the car. Speaking about the ride and handling part, the vehicle has a very good suspension and it can absorb those city potholes to a good extent. Even the front seat cushioning is excellent and you won't get tired even if you travel for long distances. One place where the vehicle excels is that if you are a kind of person who travels mostly on highways then the vehicle feels more planted when compared to other cars in this price bracket thanks to the lower ground clearance. However, the downside of this is that you would have to be very much careful about those large unscientific humps that we may encounter once in a while. 
Considering the way the car drives and the price at which the ambition variant is offered, I would say that if you are a kind of person who wants a fun to drive petrol engine with a 6 speed manual gearbox, best in segment build quality, features that are on par with the cars in the segment, I would say that ambition variant priced at 12.09 lakhs on road in Bangalore is the one that you should look for. After seeing this review about the Skoda Rapid, you might be having a question of how to proceed with the bookings of this car. Therefore, in order to help you in each and every step in the entire process of buying a new Skoda car in Bangalore, do contact Mr. Damodar sir who is the branch head of Tuffy Axis located on St. Mark's Road. The contact details are mentioned even in the description box below. If you are a resident of Bangalore, you can be rest assured that this is the best Skoda showroom that offers you the seamless Skoda car buying experience compared to other showrooms in the city. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.